The story of Jason Johnson and Miriam Al Khalifa began in a way that seemed straight out of a fairy tale. Their romance blossomed in Bahrain, where Johnson, a U.S. Marine, was stationed. The couple's love story captivated the public, characterized by cultural contrasts and dramatic escapades. Initially, their relationship was marked by secrecy and rebellion. Johnson and Al Khalifa met at a local mall, where they quickly fell for each other despite the significant barriers posed by their different cultural backgrounds. Johnson, a devout Mormon, and Al Khalifa, a Muslim royal, faced immense familial opposition. The couple's love was not just a personal affair, it was a clash of cultures that would ultimately lead to their downfall. The challenges they faced were not merely societal but also familial. Al Khalifa's family, rooted in traditional Bahraini values, strongly disapproved of her relationship with a non-Muslim. This disapproval led to clandestine communication between the two, relying on a mall employee to facilitate their exchanges. Their love story, initially full of passion and excitement, was fraught with tension and danger. In a daring move, Johnson orchestrated Al Khalifa's escape to the United States, using forged documents and disguises, including a New York Yankees cap. He successfully brought her to America after his military tour ended in November 1999. This act not only demonstrated their commitment but also resulted in severe consequences for Johnson, who faced court-martial for his actions. Al Khalifa sought political asylum in the U.S. Further complicating their relationship, their marriage on November 16, 1999, in Las Vegas, was a public spectacle drawing media attention and painting their love as a modern-day Romeo and Juliet narrative. Yet, the reality was far less romantic. The media spotlight, following their marriage, Johnson and Al Khalifa became media darlings. Their story was adapted into a made-for-TV movie, The Princess and the Marine, which further glamorized their tumultuous romance. They made rounds on various talk shows, sharing their experiences and struggles as an intercultural couple. While the media portrayed them as a symbol of love conquering all, the reality was more complex. Johnson took on a job as a parking valet to support them, while Al Khalifa adjusted to life in the US. However, the initial excitement of their union began to fade, revealing cracks in their relationship. The stark cultural differences that initially fueled their romance soon became a source of tension. Al Khalifa, having grown up in a privileged Bahraini household, found herself struggling to adapt to a lifestyle that was vastly different from what she had known. The lavish lifestyle she was accustomed to clashed with the more modest existence they were living in Las Vegas. Johnson's life as a Marine did not align with the expectations of a Bahraini princess. Al Khalifa's immersion into the nightlife of Las Vegas, where she partied with friends, further alienated her from Johnson. This divergence in lifestyles led to feelings of neglect and resentment on both sides the crumbling foundation. As their marriage progressed, it became increasingly clear that their relationship was deteriorating. Johnson described a sense of isolation, feeling that Al Khalifa was more interested in the Las Vegas scene than in nurturing their bond. The couple's differing priorities and lifestyles created an emotional chasm that seemed impossible to bridge. The tension reached a boiling point when Al Khalifa left Johnson about a year before their divorce, living in Las Vegas with his stepmother. Johnson reflected on their relationship, expressing a deep sense of loss. He believed that, despite their struggles, he had loved her more than anything else. On November 17, 2004, the couple filed for divorce, marking the end of their five-year marriage. The filing cited incompatibility in marriage as the primary reason for their separation. Al Khalifa did not have legal representation during the proceedings, raising questions about her intentions and future plans in the US. The divorce was not just a personal loss, but a public spectacle, further highlighting the challenges faced by intercultural couples. Johnson's narrative of their relationship, filled with passion and turmoil, contrasted sharply with the reality of their separation. The cultural commentary, the story of Johnson and Al Khalifa sparked discussions about the complexities of intercultural relationships. Critics pointed out that their romance, while initially celebrated, ultimately highlighted the difficulties faced by couples from vastly different backgrounds. 
Many commentators lamented the portrayal of their love as a triumph over cultural barriers. Instead, they argued that the relationship was marked by youthful indiscretion and a lack of understanding of the deeper cultural implications. The media's romanticized version of their story was seen as a glossing over of the real issues at play. Another significant factor in their relationship was the role of faith. Johnson's Mormon beliefs contrasted sharply with Al Khalifa's Islamic upbringing. The expectations placed on Al Khalifa as a Muslim woman were at odds with the more liberal lifestyle she encountered in the US. This clash of faiths created an additional layer of complexity in their marriage. Al Khalifa's upbringing in a patriarchal Islamic family made it challenging for her to adapt to Johnson's expectations as a husband. The differences in their beliefs and values became a significant barrier to their relationship. The tale of Jason Johnson and Miriam Al Khalifa serves as a poignant reminder of the complexities inherent in love and relationships. Their journey, marked by passion, rebellion, and ultimately heartbreak, underscores the importance of communication, cultural understanding, and respect. As they move on from their past, both Johnson and Al Khalifa carry with them valuable lessons that can inform their future relationships. Their story, while filled with drama and intrigue, ultimately reveals the realities of love that transcend cultural boundaries. In the end, the fairy tale that captivated many was not without its flaws, reminding us that love, while powerful, must be nurtured with care and understanding to thrive.